The next day, the weather starts to improve. At last, he can resume his epic journey. For thousands of kilometers, he follows the coast of North America and he has arrived on the most western of Europe's islands. Once again, the landscape is dominated by a huge herd of iguanodon. This time, though, it is a larger European species, up to three tons apiece. These animals are again accompanied by a spiky polar canthus. These armored herbivores are often found around iguanodon herds, presumably for mutual protection. There is safety in numbers. They are being watched by a pack of carnivorous Utah raptors. For the moment, they are biding their time. Under cover of the pencil pines, a female Utah raptor has been stalking. Her chosen prey are the iguanodon. Somewhere close by are the rest of the pack. With lethal claws, this five-meter killer is well-armed, and long fingers help her to latch on to swift-moving, larger prey. Raptors have the short legs of a sprinter and do not pursue their prey for long. This one saves her energy for later. Eventually the herbivores lose their nervousness and they start to move on. As the iguanodon file down to a lake to drink, a polycanthus lags behind to gorge on conifers and become separated from the herd. The whole herd has reached the lakeside. The raptors are closing in.